start the show. Hit record, hit record, so we can start, start the show. Oh, 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 oh. We did record it, by the way, for a little oh, oh, oh. bit. Just so I can get that song in. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Words From My Face. Uh, we are back after our hiatus, because we did some stuff. And Brian's too lazy to write a show every week. Every week. And I almost said every Wednesday, when our show's supposed to be on Tuesday, that just shows how bad Brian is at being the host of this show. But tonight we're talking about Ryan Reynolds set to star and produce in a new Clue movie. Then we're talking about the Mighty Ducks TV show. And then why I'm all in on Monster Hunter. We'll also have some headlines. Nah, I'm not going to make headlines. We're doing headlines. Yeah, we'll do. I'm just joking. We're doing headlines. You get to watch our logo. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Smart Face. My name is Brian. With me, as always, producer extraordinaire, Brendan. Yo. And we are the one and only home of the Chewbacca Chainsaws. <laughs> yeah, so we've been on a, a little bit of a hiatus, it feels like, here at Words My Face. Um, just we did some bit. cool stuff. Just a little hiatus. We we did some planning and some preparing. Uh, mostly when I say planning and preparing, Brendan did all the work. I just sat there and read off a screen. But we did have a pretty cool uh, panel that we hosted at the Anime USA convention in Washington, D.C. Uh, in December. If you want to check that out, uh, the videos, they're up on our channel. Check them out. Four they're awesome. Parts. It's four Big. parts. We break it down. We're pretty, pre- pretty philosophical when it comes to our Japanese metal. That's what I'm saying. We are. We're yeah. thorough. And well, so, yeah, we're we took some we time to do that. Time. We took some time to edit it because it's not an easy project to edit it. And when I say we, I mean Brendan, because Brian is lazy and doesn't even like to write the show every Tuesday. So, yeah, that's where we are. And now, if you're watching us now, I'm still playing up to the camera. I'm still, like, making facial expressions and stuff. Like, yes. see, people can see me, but they can't. Nope, nope. Yes. So that's another thing that's happened. And during our hiatus, we come back and things that used to work – were no longer working because they'd been moved around and updated and all kinds of other fun stuff. And I don't know, we could be showing a psychedelic Brian, but we figured you would rather just see our logo. No, just show the psychedelic. Can you switch real quick to psychedelic Brian just for two I seconds? could switch to a psychedelic Brian real quick. Just a little bit. You want to see a psychedelic Brian, everyone? Psychedelic Brian. Just, just real quick, just to show people psychedelic Brian. I, I don't know. It doesn't show up on my screen. It, it only shows up on me. Am I red psychedelic Brian or blue psychedelic Brian? Uh, you are, we're going to go with a red psychedelic Brian. Why am I asking? I'm asking the guy who's colorblind. Also, you're jittery, psychedelic Brian, now. Yeah, you're, you're super jittery. That's the stuff of <laughs> nightmares, people. Stuff of nightmares. <laughs> All right, so we're, take, we're taking me off of psych- psychedelic. So that's, that's, as you can see, that is why we are just showing you pictures of ourselves. Or not of ourselves, of, of just stuff. I guess right I now could get pictures logo. of ourselves. <laughs> nah, <laughs> we could have done that nah. from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we could have. Nah, nah. I don't have any good up-to-date photos. Um, which but one, one of these days we need to do like a photo shoot. It'd make me feel pretty. Yeah, we had one years ago that you can we see did. in our, it was our really intro that's still on our, our front yeah, page. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, I think we were both about 70 pounds heavier back then. And... Uh, or had you already started losing weight by that point? You had already. No, I was heavier weight. back then when we yeah. were doing that stuff. Yeah, we were both that pretty was heavy many years ago. We've been doing yeah, the show for a while. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, we probably have over 700, 800 videos up on YouTube, and that's just because we haven't really put much up on the YouTube for the past year. We're kind of taking a step back with it now. So, but maybe, maybe this is a resurgence for us. I'm just yeah. gonna go with it. This is maybe a some point we'll use we're that back. studio I set up. We'll, we'll get what <laughs> set up. The studio I set up for for this yeah. purpose, yeah. so that we could you know resurge and you know use the studio space. Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll now I'm going to put carpeting in the Japanese studio space, and we're still not going to use it because you're a jerk. Yeah, you never know. I got to record some vocals pretty soon, so I'll probably use it for then. Okay. So that's been another thing we've been doing. Brian's been working on this thing called Unicorn Man and uh, the music for it. Not, not all that much. I finished that before our panel. So, I mean, you've still been doing a more recording of music. Oh, I've been working on music. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to do some things. I'm not very good at those things. But you know what? We will force feed them to you uh, when I have them available. I have a couple music videos in mind, a couple songs getting ready to record. So, um, yeah, get ready for those. Those are coming your way 
uh, and actually two of the guys that did our, our intro th- theme song, uh, the, one of the guitar players and the drummer, are two guys that do it with me. So yeah, that sounded weird. You know what Don't else has weird. happened? It's been so, so long. Vidme, where we were Stop. posting our full videos, has collapsed. So I guess these full videos are going on YouTube again. Well, you're welcome, YouTube. <laughs> so sorry. R.I.P. Vidme, and uh, you're welcome, YouTube. That's yep. all we got to say. But we, and then also like some things that have changed as YouTube has changed. We used to be eligible for the partnership program. I don't believe we are anymore. I mean, we're so we have to, have, to we have to be gaining like 4,000 subscribers a month or something like that, or have 4,000 hours viewed in 12 months. Uh, that cuts us out of it, but it doesn't matter. We didn't monetize any of our videos anyway. And we won't let anybody force us to monetize our videos. We'll, we'll stand pat against that. Cough, cough. Our, I don't know what to, our history what to of about. Japanese metal videos may or may not. All right, well, yeah. that's because we're forced to monetize. <laughs> Damn it, Brendan. Why do you have to immediately undermine my point with a logical fact that totally undermines my point. Anyway. Hey, we did battle it. Like we got some of them removed, some of those claims removed. Oh, they so. didn't all. They didn't all come off. Not all of them. Don't One they... of them, they're like, no, we're not going to listen to this. Screw you, kids. Well, you know, I was like, I'm is. not. I mean, I'm a little older than a kid, buddy. But all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little older than a kid too. I I'm guess I'm not in my 60s like you, old man. Had to start shouting at each other. I am. I am a great-looking 60-year-old. Japan told me to get off their lawn. They told you to get off their lawn? Yeah, Japan. All of Japan did. They're just like, get off our lawn. Uh, like All of Japan, all at once. <laughs> get off our lawn! Some people call that exiling me from their country. Pretty Maybe stuff, because of copyright infringements. Maybe because of I still say it's defacement of historical monuments. I don't know. You know, I say it's fair use. I mean, it's to it's deface different. historical monuments. Yeah, that's transformative but art. They were, if I deface like they were, those monuments, they weren't, gonna, they weren't gonna file a suit against us or anything like that. It was either just give us all your money or. or I mean, I thought they were gonna put us jail. in jail. Well, good thing they're not going to. Yeah, it's a good thing we got out of the country. I think we had somebody threaten us recently. Um, I with dealt jail with time. It. I don't think when I put up that video of the the group that I had, they threatened me pretty good. Oh yeah, there's that too there. Yeah, yeah. I put up a video. We get the greatest guys. claims. <laughs> yeah, I put up a video that I literally had express written permission from these guys, and then they didn't tell me that they had a copyright. It was for them. It wasn't hound. even. Yeah, they, <laughs> they didn't tell me that there was a copyright hound out there that, that they actually have. You know, given parts of a you know certain percentage, I'm sure a very small percentage of the rights to to help protect their copyrighted stuff on YouTube. And they came after me, and then, um, yeah, I wasn't told that that might happen. You know, nice heads up, like, hey, you know, it's up on YouTube, so if there's a copyright claim, don't worry about it. We got your back because we do have this company that does that because we gave them percentage of rights, but I can override them. You know, just saying something like that is is, is usually nice when somebody's like, hey, here's a gift for you guys. I made this music video for you because I like you. So here you go. And the only reason I put it up on YouTube is so that you guys can see it and tell me what you want to change. And then crickets, and then copyright claims. So fun times, fun times. That words my face. So that's what's been going on the last what month and a half, month, two months, because month, yeah, yeah, because we stopped right before we did the panel. Yeah, so. we were still because we well, took no, extra we time. We back in and we did our, our top five, top fives. That's true. Okay, so it's only been a few weeks. There you yeah. go. A few, but it was a few weeks before that, so we're still calling it a hiatus. There's no chance we're skipping our top five, top five show. I mean, that's just like gold, gold. If you haven't checked it out, I mean, what are you doing? Pause this video, open that video, watch it 50 times, come back to this video, watch this 100 times, go back to that one, watch it another 100 times, and come back here. And then, and then tell then your friends. And then tell all your friends, yes. And if anybody doesn't want to watch it, what I want you to do is take a large brick and say, if you don't watch this video, I will throw this at your lawn. Yes. Not at the person. Don't don't threaten physical violence against anybody. That's not cool. Yeah, a brick to the lawn usually doesn't hurt anyone. It shouldn't, unless there's somebody standing on the lawn. Make sure there's nobody standing <laughs> on the lawn when you throw the brick at the lawn. You know? We hear words from my face. Take no responsibility for any personal injury you may do against another per- person or their property. A- any sentiments uh, from the hosts of words from my face do not reflect words from my face incorporated. That'd be... 
Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> We're not incorporated. Did, did you incorporate? Two, so. <laughs> We're not incorporated, and there's only us two, so it has to reflect our our <laughs> our thoughts. But hey, you know, we'll just throw that disclaimer out there for fun. Yeah. But you know what? We actually do a show around here every now and then. After we, we do, <laughs> and it's not just about us talking about our random adventures <laughs> or or non adventures <laughs> or non adventures or our. Or are non, yeah. We don't run a vlog, okay? We we don't actually run a vlog, even though it may we seem don't. like that sometimes. That's not what we do <laughs> if this here. This is the first time you've ever heard our show. You're there, he's like, where are these guys going with this stuff? What is the point of this show? For them just to say some stuff? No, but yes, actually, that is the exact point for us just to say some stuff about to... about about entertainment usually. Yes. But this is entertaining me, so. You know what? That's it. That's our, our welcome back show. We're done. Two minutes of gold. You are welcome. We are out of here. And not really. Let's jump into things. And let's talk about some movies. Movies, movies, movies. And so Ryan Reynolds is set to star and produce in a new Clue movie. Now, this is part of an agreement that Ryan Reynolds has reached with his production studio uh, which is called maximum efforts and fox for a three-year first look deal and the first movie of this first look deal will be clue now if you don't quite know what a first look deal is i kind of had to look it up myself it means that any movie that this production company wants to make fox has the first uh, uh right of refusal i guess if you know they can take it if they want or they can pass it on to another studio for i guess distribution would be the rights i think um i think don't record companies do something like that too they kind of uh get um new bands to sign a a memo saying like oh well if we ever do anything you have the right to claim it until you decide that you don't want our record or whatever Mm -hmm. i I, i'm guessing that's which a couple bands have gotten in a sticky position with that it is good for bands in a way and it's bad for bands in a way it's just you know, I'm pretty sure it's record. mostly bad for them, but, yeah, but <laughs> just but saying, that's, that, that's what this sounds this like, too. Your deal, so it's not like it's going to be crippling. I mean, how many movies can you really make and produce in three years? I'd imagine one, if you want to do quality ones, or two, if you want to do two decent quality ones. I mean, I, I, I don't really know. 20. With this, 20? That's a lot of movies. That's I don't know. A lot. Some people work on a lot of movies in here. I don't, I don't know. That's, that's true. That's true. Um, but this just, you know piqued my interest because it brings a couple questions to mind. Number one, um, we're getting a a Clue remake. Now, I don't know if you ever watched the original Clue. It's one of my favorite movies. It's just, it's really fun. It's tongue in cheek. There's just a lot of, you know, witty humor going on there. And I love how it has like four endings to it. The the actual movie has like three or four endings to it, the different ways. And it's based off a board game, which you'd be like, that's stupid. But the way they do it, they pull it off just, just, just perfectly. Uh, who is it? Um, uh, uh, Curry's. Uh, what's that guy's name? Last name's Curry. Steph Curry. No, not the basketball player. The actor. <laughs> I mean, he could be an actor too. Don't threat. I mean, he could be. I'm. I'm sure he is <laughs> an actor in his own right. But no. Um. I don't know. Put it in comments down below because I'm blanking his name. Uh. But he he was in the original Clue and just spectacular. Now Ryan Reynolds is set to star, so I'm hoping he takes over the role as the butler. They are saying that the movie will be different from its other one. It, it's not just, you know. Was, wasn't a there movie. another clue, like in the late 90s or something, that no one cared about? Mm-hmm. Don't think so. I kind of feel like there was a Tim was Curry. Tim Curry. That's who it was. Okay. Tim Curry. Um, but yeah, so this looks really cool. And, 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 I, and I think Ryan Reynolds would be perfect as the butler if they kind of mirror some of the same, uh, you know, motifs as you had in the original one. So. It sounds spectacular on that front. Clue, I'm excited for it. But then we we got to think about, okay, what does this do for a guy like Ryan Reynolds? You might look at it and be like, hey, Ryan Reynolds is just some actor who now thinks he can make the movies as well as act in them. Doesn't always pan out too well. But if you look at his track record, now I don't think he has much of a track record, but he's the one who's been pushing Deadpool. He apparently had been pushing Deadpool for like eight to ten years before he actually got it made. So this guy has an eye. He's he's got a good comedic acting sense, and maybe he has a good sense for what movies might be funny or might, you know, translate well to the big screen. So that is one thing I'm looking forward to, and hopefully he'll have a lot of cool ones. Um, now, does this draw him closer with Disney, meaning he's going to be 
more like the Deadpool will be the first of the X-Men ones to cross over into the Marvel franchise. I don't know. That might be an interesting thing to see. No, I have seen... This is going to be an interesting one that they're remaking just because um, the first clue didn't make a profit. Yeah, like, but it's still all. an awesome movie. I love that movie. It's, it's yeah, I know. Cool. Like, I heard a lot of people have said good... Anyone that knows about it that I've heard from and still willing to talk about it seems to have good things to say about it. Mm -hmm. But there's not a whole lot of people that do seem to know about it and remember it. Um, but it apparently, like, it had a, a $15 million budget and it is still, uh, it has grossed a decent bit shy of that. So well, Was that just box office back then? Yeah, that's the box office sales. But, and that's also domestic. I don't know if they sent it off overseas. They might have made money there. But I do see good things coming out of uh, this deal with Fox and Ryan Reynolds. Because I think the guy's funny. I think he makes funny movies. And I like seeing funny movies. So let's hope it continues. And let's hope that Disney doesn't screw things up too much by trying to bring down his humor. It doesn't seem like they have been. Uh, they, they said they were pretty much going to leave the Deadpool stuff to the Deadpool people because it was such a success. They're not going to put their Disney paws all over it. So well, you can never tell. Yes. I mean, they certainly put their Disney paws all over The Last Jedi. I mean, that's for sure. That's, that's another story for another day. But let us know what you think. Do you think this deal with Ryan Reynolds would be good in bringing some of his creative aspects out? Or you think this will stifle him like it does in the record industry? No. Nah. Let us know. Hit us up. Comments down below, of course. At Words on Face on Twitter. Google Plus on Facebook. Oh, there's good ways of getting a hold of us. But let's keep on a rolling and let's talk some TV. TV. Now, on the TV docket, we've got for you Mighty Ducks. Now, if you don't, if you're not a kid of the 90s like me and Brendan are, you might not be so familiar with this franchise. But this was a set of movies, I believe the first one came out in 92, where it had Emilio Estevez, who he's a big shot lawyer. And he gets in trouble. He has to do some community service. And the way he's going to do it is he's going to turn a ragtag group of hockey players around and help them win their little league uh, championship. Amazing. Yeah. Hockey but players I might be, from, I, I think, the poor neighborhood really or something. But they're just some huh? I was going to say, I think they're from, like, a poor neighborhood or something. They play on just a pond yeah, at, at first. the side of the city, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But – absolutely spectacular movie then the second one came out d2 which just took them to an international scale which was still spectacular and then the, the third one Olympics. came out which then took them to a private school which I, 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 is the junior one, olympics even a real thing like i don't think it is i think it's fake i think disney made it up for that movie because the olympics have pretty young i mean it's like 16 to get into the olympics anyway and they were already in high school when they they did that or something i don't know yeah and now this is all swirling while they are in talks now talks everything's in talks so it's not a big deal but uh that they are in talks to make a possible mighty ducks 4 or d4 um which would be horrible but my basic thoughts on this yeah well and this will be done by abc so again disney um but, you know, they did the originals too so it's not a big deal but they also did I the really original think this um, is probably TV. the worst idea for a tv show of all time Part of the reason that the movie worked was because you could see that progression of those kids from rags to not riches, but, you know, ragtag to pristine was, you know, like because you could have montage scenes. It would be really boring to jump into, I think, the character development of these kids, which they're supposed to be because kids don't develop a whole lot. I mean, all right. yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying with that one. They do they develop, develop a lot. lot. However, develop in any all, case, this all story of seems happens when they're kids, in fact. Yeah. The but story if, was fine in the context of a yes, movie. You didn't yes. need to drag it out. We don't need to develop. I mean, they, you can't develop characters of these kids that fleshed out and still have us care that much about these kids. Honestly, is what I meant to kind of say. And I, I just hate this idea. I yeah. think it's the worst thing ever. It's just stupid. Like The story alone, of the Mighty Ducks movie. is not Highlander. No, it doesn't not. need a nine. It doesn't have the, the content for nine seasons of development. Yeah. I know Disney really seems to like want to replicate Highlander for some reason, but uh, it's not going to happen. I, I find it interesting that you're you're drawing parallel parallels to Highlander with the Mighty Ducks. It was a movie that see, that that, that was set up to have nine <laughs> uh, to have like nine seasons 
that actually made sense because there was just so much. The guy lives for hundreds of years. You could have stories yeah. throughout that time. That's fine, right. even if they don't cover all that space one, of time. One one season can be in the 1500s. The next season in 16. I mean, you can literally. They do didn't that do it that way, way, but they could have. You could still see that there's a I, lot I, of time I, to I, do I, stuff rather than a season. Lots of development ahead of them. But these kids, I I, I don't know. I just. As a fan of the movies, I just wish they would not do this. There are I'm, some things that I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, make a TV show out of that. That sounds awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all down yeah. for that. This is not one. They of they did do another TV show of this back in the 90s as it well. It was a little different. It was like yes. some space ducks came from Yes, space. the animated one that was space ducks. <laughs> Actual, fought, that play yeah, hockey guys. still. And they so did still play hockey. Maybe, and maybe if they try to merge these like two. A, you know, maybe space ducks so inspire space the ducks kids. Come from space to play to train kids in hockey. Yes. And get them out of their impoverished situation. I like it. If they'll do that, then I will watch this show. That is the only way I will watch this show is if it's Space Ducks teaching Ooh, kids. Now that uh Disney owns Fox too, Fox. they'll do a they'll do a X Files crossover. They could. They could. X Files X Files investigates they, yes. the X Files people try to stop the, the the ducks from space from teaching the kids the hockey because that makes them into hockey space players. And you can't have that on Earth, and that's two X Files. Something. Yeah, and if you think some, what I just said didn't make sense, that's kind of what I think about making a Mighty Ducks TV show. Makes no sense. Yes. Mighty X Files. Mighty X Files. Lander. Ducks. Ducks Lander. Lander yeah. Ducks. Lander. <laughs> that's what we're gonna go with. But let us know what you think. Are, would you watch a Mighty Ducks TV show? Yes. No. Hit us up, let us know. Comments down below. Do you want course, the X-Files involved? On Twitter and X-Files, yeah. X-Files <laughs> would have to be in there. Um, where's my face on Twitter? Google Plus, Facebook. Always good where he's getting hold of us, but let's keep on a road and, and let's talk some headlines. What? We do have headlines, Brian. Let's do some headlines, Brian. Let's do some headlines. So go ahead and let's quick fire these. Alrighty then. From Game Rant, Destiny 2 weekly reset for January 23rd. Nightfall, Heroic Strikes, Flashpoint, and more. And I'm just kind of hoping, Brian, that you know something about this. Um, It's what they do every week. It's just the weekly reset. They just switch the main, and it's horrible. Destiny 2 sucks. They they, they hate their hardcore fans for some reason. Now remember, the guys, the guys Brian was really around. excited about Destiny 2 for a long, for a little while. And he Look at the review Destiny I gave fan. it. After playing it for like eight hours, I had glowing reviews. And then it just it turns out that they just... They just really don't care about their hardcore fans, and they just want to get the quick cash. Oh, we can appeal to the market that's only interested in playing it for 10 to 20 hours, not the market that wants to you know, play it for 100-plus hours like I am because it's supposed to be fun and replayable, and you get together with your friends and have a good time and shoot things and you know just have fun. But no, we have to make it not fun. We have to kill the progression system. We have to make loot not matter. I mean, that was why you played Destiny was to grind for loot, I mean, and now you just don't. That's a whole other story. All right. So <laughs> next one. <laughs> next headline. From Screen Rant. Brian, this one's going to be a shocker for you. I'm just saying. It's going to be a shocker. Right, Sony's shock Barbie movie pushed back to 2020. Brian, <gasps> they're pushing back Sony's Barbie movie. <gasps> not the Barbie movie. I actually it's am a little surprised by that. I thought they funny. were just going to push that through as quickly as possible, get it out of the if way, the, and run the away. Barbie movie is not safe, what? <laughs> I don't you know like, uh, that is exactly what the world has been needing desiring demanding for so long Barbie movies A Barbie movie yes Mm-mm-mm. just like the Barbie video games that are so incredibly popular you know it. I mean people do buy them unfortunately I bet they, they do make money unfortunately I'm sure they make money that's why they keep doing it but I I just <laughs> And that's why they're going to make a Mighty Ducks TV show. So, let's, Is Barbie going to be in that? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Barbie that might and the Mighty Ducks in a TV X-Files. show. X-Files. And X-Files yes. and Space Ducks. All right, let's do one last headline of the night. All right, from Business Insider. The good times are rolling for Netflix, even with a looming threat from Disney. Which is interesting because I thought that they would not like that as much because Disney is going to – put a pretty pretty good rival streaming service i mean don't get me wrong disney owns everything so um they're gonna have a lot of good content that will rival netflix's netflix i don't think are worried because they're like yeah we're dumping 20 million 20 billion 
dollars into stuff in 2017. And I think they're doing about the same in 2018. So eh, they, they're going to come up with their own content. Plus, I do feel like there is enough space out there for multiple streaming services. I think that's been proven. Just like you had enough space for multiple cable channels, people are now <sighs> getting rid of the cable. And if you can, if you can, this is more than multiple cable channels. Watch. This is cable services essentially. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So yeah, if you break that, down the what other thing though. Watch, if I can get everything I want to watch for fifty dollars and not have to pay a hundred dollars for my cable bill every month, you pay a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, you pay crazy. You get the the big packages. That's right. You get the big packages. Your face well, gets the big. Packages. I'm always like, I'm not paying for this unless it's free. And then I'll pay the taxes for it. <laughs> That's because I already have Netflix and and yeah, Amazon well, Prime Hulu and all. And, and, and we've talked about this before. I actually think. It, it, we we might be getting to the point where we have too many. Like CBS is one was yeah. Well, we'll see the smaller ones, the ones that can't provide the high um, volume of content yeah. die off. Netflix is taking proactive steps. Well, like, and Disney fun. also controls Hulu now too. So, I mean, Hulu was one that was uh, a reasonable contender for for so long. So I guess we'll we'll see how they they all work that out. And Amazon Prime's been trying to push itself up, but kind of just there because everyone has Prime. I don't know. I don't know, Brian. Well, those are our thoughts on some quick things. So uh, if you disagree with us, I don't want to hear from you. Only people who agree with me put stuff in the comments, please. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't agree with us, that's that's fine, too. You can no, comment. it's not fine. Oh, you have to agree with us. I mean, I don't agree with you, so. Uh... So choose which of us you agree with. The one that you agrees with the pride or the one that does it. Uh, well, we are now Figure that one out. producers here at Words of My Face. We, we suddenly have a producer vacancy. <laughs> Please email me at wordsmyface at gmail.com to, with your, your uh, application. Yes, do so. If you want to take over, we'll see how it goes. I will... I will uh, I will review all applications, and really the only one that comes in will be the one that's accepted. So, <laughs> Brendan, so email me. You can email your application too, Brendan. I will look at yours as well. <laughs> That'll probably be the primary one you look at, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be my only one, but okay. But let's keep on rolling. Let's talk about video games. Video games. And so, Monster Hunter just released his third beta last weekend. I got to say, I'm all in. This game really. It, it was a game that I've always heard of the series, but I've never actually experienced the game itself. Now, it, reason, a big reason I've never really experienced the game is because it's always been relegated to a lot of the times uh, the, the handheld consoles. Now, I do believe they had something come out on Wii, but most of the time it never came out on the PlayStation or on the Xboxes and stuff. It always it was kind of like a Nintendo uh, game. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they had a PS3 one at some point. Did they have a PS3 one? No, I, 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 I think it was like a later release or something, but I, I thought they had a... Find out. Yeah, it's just something I never, never, never really got into because I heard a lot about it. Actually, our little brother used to play one of them, uh, and he was a really big fan of it. And just never quite something I could get into. But with the beta, I had a couple buddies online that I play with, and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna play, try the beta. Why don't you try it with us?" Jumped in with them, and like I said, I'm all in. Now, the, it, first of all, from the presentation, the graphics were awesome. It was spectacular. It was slick. There was you know no frame drops or anything like that. It, it was felt very smooth the whole way throughout the beta uh, and you know a good polished looking game is always good plus if you're gonna be fighting giant monsters you want to have that detail in the monsters you want to have the the cool art style in those guys and that and that's what you get uh then i mean the, the play the actual you know the combat system and everything is really it's it feels like it, there's a lot of depth to it now in the beta i believe they give you an option of 17 different weapons which each change your combat style whether from a faster paced combat style or a slower more methodical or maybe you're using a sword and a shield and there's actually one sword and shield combo that turns into a giant axe that you can charge up and and wail on right. people so i loved the varied play styles you could get through just changing a simple weapon and then that's not all there's a lot of depth to it as well because you go in and you fight these monsters and then you got to figure out okay this equipment probably will work better against it this is an ice dragon or this is a fire monster or this is a lightning monster whatever it is you can change up your equipment so there's some strategy that goes into it too and, and i really enjoyed this um and, and but the biggest thing about the beta that really drew me and made me all in um was the multiplayer uh, mm. this is the first time you've been able to really have multiplayer on a monster hunter game 
which I feel is is a great way to do these types of games. Because if you don't know the premise of Monster Hunter, pretty much you do that. You go out and you fight giant monsters. Uh, pretty much every battle is either a, like a sub boss or a boss fight. So you're taking your time, you're attacking weak points, you're, you're strategizing, you lure them into traps, you set traps for them. You do so many crazy cool things to de defeat these monsters. Like there's even one where you can, if you injure um, one of the monsters enough, you can draw them into a place where there's another monster that usually lurks around and then they'll fight each other. So like you can do cool things like lure them places and there's a lot of strategy and depth. It's not just, okay, I see monster, I have my weapon, I'm gonna go hack it to bits. It, there's a lot more to it than that. And, and that's something I, I never realized was part of the series that now I get to have. But then you also have the strategy of being with your your friends. It's kind of like an MMO. You know, okay, I'm going to be the tank. You're going to be the quick, the rogue. You're going to be the major, the guy with the gun shooting in the back. And, and you can you can define your roles, which I, I always do like that too because it just makes a cohesive unit rather than everybody just going, you know, hack, hack and slash all over the monsters. So that's another thing I really like. Now, one thing I will gripe about which in this day and age just makes no sense is the way you actually link in on multiplayer is just incredibly, it's, it's just horrible. Literally I had to have my friends give me a code uh, and it was usually like nine is like a combination, of nine letters and, and numbers. And some of the letters are upper and lowercase. So we literally had to be like, okay, everybody get ready. Type in this six uppercase Y Z five, four uppercase L lowercase D. You know, it's like, that is the most annoying thing ever in this day and age when i should be able to just hit a simple button pull up my friends list join game go now maybe they'll fix that when before the beta i mean uh, before the actual game comes out which is this week so i don't know but of all all in all that's if that's my biggest gripe now there is a way you can search public forums and just jump into random games but when i was trying to search for my friend's game that he randomly created i couldn't ever find it even if i was looking in the same lobbies so again there's some connectivity problems with the multiplayer i'd say but overall, once you connect with your friends, it's a super enjoyable experience. Now, they only let you play four bosses or four of the monsters in the beta. But like I said, each one of them was very different and it was enjoyable. And once you finally get that kill on that monster, eh, you know, you're on top of the world. Yeah, and then you can save the monsters from the evil Moo. All right, go ahead and explain. So, monster Hunter always just makes me think of Monster Rancher. Because that just gets stuck in my head every time. That's oh, really why I haven't gone to this. The one with the like one-eyed monster. Yeah, that was his. Okay, so now we're the it was essentially like a Pokemon ripoff, but with yeah. larger monsters that talk and do more powerful things. <laughs> and he the gets sucked into the game. Powerful. Like it's also supposed to be a game that the kid gets sucked into. So you know he played the game like an ace, and now he's in this place to save the monsters from the evil Moo. That was that was the song that. That's actually the main reason I can't play Monster Hunter because all I'm ever going to think of is the theme song to that show, and I'm going to get in and, and be like, "I'm not saving the monster from the evil Moo. How can I?" So Brian's I all in. Game. Brendan's all out. Yeah, I, you know, I think they made a Monster Rancher game at some point. They need to make another one of those, and maybe they can incorporate it into Monster Hunter, and then I can play. Same. So hit us up and let us know <laughs> if you'd play Brendan's Monster Rancher slash Monster Hunter game. Um, Monster Ranger X Monster Hunter. Oh, here you go. Mon X. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, but let us know what you think. Are, are you in on Monster Hunter? Are you a fan of the series for a long time? Do you think this multiplayer is a good addition, bad addition? I, I know there's people in various uh, schools of thought with that. So, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. Google Buzz and Facebook. Always good the words. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, the reason I stumbled those words was because I don't have access to our email account right now, so I can't check anything there. I haven't had access to our Twitter account for... Oh, I've been on our Twitter account lately, though. So. Oh, have you? Yeah. No, okay, one of us <laughs> has access to it. You, you can send us um, a message on Twitter. I'll actually see it. <laughs> you'll see it. All right. So, it's, yeah, send us stuff there. <laughs> send us stuff there. But that's all for the night. As always, I am Brian. With me, as always, producer extraordinaire, the Tyrants of Cool, Brendan. You. And we are out of here. Peace.